up everyone uh figured i'd redo this video since uh the last one didn't turn out too well so i'll show you all my truck one more time and i'm at home i can actually raise the bed and everything else so here it is Right, it's a 2000 Freightliner FLD 112. It's got a uh, Cummins ISM 330, turned up to 400. Uh, it's got a few minor little issues that I gotta fix. Uh, on the rocker box right here, they used an RTV silicone gasket instead of buying the actual gasket from Cummins. Which I found out why when I bought the gasket, because uh, it was over 200 bucks. 200 for the uh, rocker box, and then a little over 100 for the rocker box cover. So I'll get that changed out. It leaks a little bit of oil, and when I say a little, it's uh, when it's running after uh, sleeping overnight, I get out, check it. Uh, I'll have one spot in the front and one spot in the back that's maybe about the size of a half dollar. Uh, over the 5,000 miles that I run the last 10 days, it leaked. I, I had to add maybe maybe a, a quarter of a quart, if that. Uh, so it's not too bad. Other than that, the motor runs real good. Uh, no issues out of it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Like I said, the motor's motor solid except for the little gasket uh which at the time it was fine but i, I don't know if y'all know about the the make your own gasket stuff over time they it goes bad faster than the, your regular you know your factory OEM, uh, oem gaskets but yeah the inside's got the little sleeper in the back uh i put the ice i took the passenger seat out and put the ice chest in it's strapped down so you know, it's not going anywhere. Uh, it's got the Garmin Dezel uh, GPS with the front face and dash cam. Uh, replaced the whole dash uh, behind all these panels. You know, all that was cracked and busted because it's a 21 year old truck, but replaced all that. Took me probably four or five hours one evening to do. Uh, it's got the brake controller. The trailer has got has electric over hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as the inside goes. Uh, I installed a 3,000 watt inverter on the back wall, you know, and keep some different fluids and stuff in here. I also got some oil and uh, hub oil and some belt conditioner few different things in the toolbox uh it's a 2018 kerr 53 foot step deck nine foot on top and 44 foot on the bottom uh i'll start at the front the trailer does have airbags it's controlled by the trailer brake inside the truck and the trailer brake airline uh Whenever I'm loading, if, I, if I'm going to tilt the bed and load something, press the trailer brakes in, it'll dump the bags. Or I'm sorry, you pop them out, it'll dump the bags. And then, you know, it lowers the rear even more. Uh, this right here keeps all the batteries charged. It's plugged in to the battery, or, or attached to the batteries on the truck. Then it runs through here to the batteries up underneath. It's got a Smittybilt XRC 20, uh, 17.5 or 17,500 pound wireless winch. And I do have the controller uh, in case the wireless ever goes bad. It's got a little roller right there with a four inch C channel down the center. And as you can see, I replaced the two deck boards. Uh, it's done a trek. This box right here holds the hydraulics and 
it's got two boxes on the other side for other storage uh, for straps and chains and binders. Also, I put that up because I did run out of storage on the mother two boxes. So I put this little job box up here. Uh, I did have it screwed down with some big lag screws. But when I hauled the sea dudes up to New York, I ended up uh, moving it down to here and just strapped it down. So as of now, it's just, I just keep it strapped. That way I can move it around on the trailer. I got a bunch of chains and binders, uh, bungees, uh, a 15K bottle jack, uh, and some other other stuff in there. Some, a set of jumper, heavy duty jumper cables. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's got two 12,000 pound Dexter axles, oil bath. Two eight-foot aluminum ramps, one on this side, one on the other side. That's uh, head chain welded, and then it has a lock on it, so it stays locked all the time. And it's got six-foot ramps up in the top deck that'll pull out, and you could lock them in up on the top. That way, if you want to haul a couple cars, you can haul a couple cars. Uh, two tarps. One's a uh, six-foot, twenty-four foot long by six, uh, twenty-four by sixteen. So a six foot drop. The other one is a 20 by 20, 27, I believe. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hydraulics work off a little uh, wireless controller. Plus the, the wired controller is on the inside also. So if this one, like the batteries are going, starting to go bad in this controller, so I got to replace them. There you go. Come on up. The, uh, with it being a full tilt, kind of nice. I uh, did some stuff on the axles earlier so I took a couple four by fours set them under the back and then raised the uh, raise the bed up lift both axles off the ground uh, if you raise it up it will raise as you can see the the front axles are uh, the front axles coming off the ground but and it also makes it nice when you gotta mess with some wires or something up underneath but yeah you can walk up underneath uh, Batteries. Oh. Batteries are mounted up underneath right here. You can see the winch is mounted up underneath here. And then it's got a toolbox cover that covers it. But yeah, that, that cord up there runs back here and it keeps them batteries charged and it keeps the battery and for the hydraulics charged. <laughs> That's about it guys. I did add the two work lights up there. They're really bright and it's really nice at night. You just flip them on real quick. You know, see your straps if you got anything flapping around. Uh, one thing I am gonna do is take the exhaust off and run a straight pipe on it. Open her up a little bit and let her breathe. Uh, other than that, that's about it. See One thing I did want to show y'all real quick. Old trucker I met down in Laredo had one of these. It's just an extendable... Uh, hold on just a second. Just an extendable paint stick you get from Home Depot. I think it was 19, 20 bucks. And then the half inch female thread, the half inch male thread, and then a half inch T. Uh, well, it's a one inch T with a half inch male thread, but uh, I got to take a little cutoff wheel and cut a little slot up here. Uh, if you got a tall load, you can set your 
uh, strap protectors in here and then set them up on the load. And also, like when I was hauling them sea doos you couldn't really get on top of them because they were so high. And I borrowed the truckers. He had, like I said, he had one of these and you could get up and move the straps around, put the straps where you want them. But yeah, it's a cool little deal. I think it, all in all, it cost me probably 25, 26 bucks. A little handy, handy tool to keep in the truck or keep in the job box. Thought I'd kind of show y'all where I live. Uh, like I said, I'm in the process of building it. I'm building a house right now. Uh, we're living in a nice little RV. Uh, we bought this property, it's 21 acres, about five years ago. We moved out here. November of 19 and we've been living in the RV ever since but ain't been too bad uh, it's a pretty big RV uh, but yeah they're f fisting to be finished with the house well I'll say that they still got tile sheetrock and paint uh, all the plumbing's in all the electricals in they're finishing up the AC today uh, it's a 1800 square foot uh, a-frame roof uh, square house it was a they call them a barn dominium i call it a metal house it's uh was a uh, uh it was a weld up job they come out built the rafters built everything set it up welded everything up but yeah i'll show y'all a little video of it i'm not gonna go in there right now all the you know the workers are still working in there so, uh, but I'll show y'all a little video as I'm driving by. so we can actually put a washer and dryer. Another refrigerator, then I got another freezer in there. Yeah, this is the house. Just small little nice house, nothing spectacular, but uh, it'll be nice. I'm ready to get out of the RV. Get everything cleaned up, 